So yeah, good afternoon and hold on. Okay. Uh, let's start with let's proceed with the word of the Lord for my so my topic for this talk is you know the road with him the road that uh, the Lord has set upon us the what we know is a straight and narrow path and this road that we have with him is really uh, it's really simple it's really straight but it's very narrow not all can go through it uh, some say that you know the more narrow the road is the harder it is to walk upon even even when you know, when you're in an example of which is, which i can uh uh, compared to it is uh, as I was uh, going through commute, going home. You know, there's a lot, a lot of the cases where uh, the hot, the most time-consuming, the most you know suffering, the most grueling road to go through is the is the you know the very narrow road compared to a high, compared to a large highway or you know a uh, very or an expressway, the simple, you know, simple small road is the one that's often uh, one accompanied with a lot of, you know, a lot of waiting, a lot of heat, a lot of exhaustion, uh, and the road, uh, the travel is not very fast, but it is the same with us brothers and sisters. The straight and narrow path that the Lord has set upon us is the, is the road that's very very challenging to be in and like like the road that uh like the road that we have you know even in the philippines you know there's a lot of traffic in these narrow roads so too does our walk in the road that uh, the lord has set upon us there's a lot of challenges along it there's a lot of uh, things that may distract us, things that may you know, grab our attention and lead us astray. But brothers and sisters, you know, uh, we must stay in this uh, straight and narrow path. So we're going to start with we're going to start with our first scripture in John fourteen. Hold on. There we go. John 14, we're going to read from verse uh, 1 to verse 7. <coughs> oh, sorry. John verse 14, there we go. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. For if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you and if i go and prepare a place for you i will come again and receive you unto myself that where i am there ye may be also whither i go you know and the way ye know thomas said unto him lord we know not whither thou goest and how can we know the way jesus said unto him i am the way the truth and the life no man uh, cometh unto the father but by me if ye had known me ye should have known my father also from henceforth ye know him and have seen him the brothers and sisters we are called upon by the lord the lord has set upon us the road to follow according to his example and uh, through receiving the spirit through the promises that were given unto us the Lord has already prepared a place for us so that we may be where he is, so we may be where he is in the dwelling place <coughs> in which in, uh, the time, when the time that the Lord returns, we would go with him. And brothers and sisters, uh, truth be told, we don't know when he will come back. 
but the signs are here but for all we know it might be the next five minutes the next hour the next day the next week the next year the next century who knows really but uh, in in the walk within the straight and narrow path that we have like i said uh, in the beginning there will be a lot of challenges along the way there will be a lot of distractions temptations things that will grab us and try to stray us from the right path you know, whether that be work school anything really but we must always remember in verse 6 i am the way the truth and uh, the truth and the life no man cometh unto the father but by me this is the uh, this is the only road that we can take that we have that we have straight to to god to father to the father and through jesus christ only through him will we arrive at our destination point that we we aim for which is the kingdom of heaven and in romans 12 I want to read from verse 1 to 3. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say through the grace given to me, to every man that is among you, not to think of some himself more highly than he ought to think but to think soberly according as god had dealt to every man the measure of faith so brothers and sisters you know within within the path that the, uh, that the lord set upon us through his examples you know, the examples of our lord jesus christ <coughs> that we may walk the the path that he has set upon us according to his example so that we may you know uh not be conformed to the world but but be transformed renewing our mind according to uh that which is you know of the spirit of spiritual things of that of good faith and according to the will of god and we must always remember not to not to raise ourselves in a pedestal. What do I mean by that? Not to think ourselves better than another than another person, because all all in all, God has created each and every one of us <coughs> according to His image. We are we are all equal in the eyes of the Lord. However, brothers and sisters, the path that is set upon us, though though we are chosen, we. we we must never forget that we have a service to the Lord, that we have a commission to the Lord, and that that commission, that great commission that was given unto us, is to preach the word to every creature, preach the word to every man. And I remember way back then when Brother Ethan gave a talk, uh, which is about the Watchmen. Uh, the watchman and uh according to it the watchman that warns the people but the people listen not uh, uh their blood shall be upon their uh, upon their heads which means that uh, when the watchmen have warned the people have shared the word if they chose not to listen, then that is their choice. In the end, that in the end, that will go to them as well. But brothers and sisters, uh, when when the watchman did not warn the people, their blood is upon his head. So we have a great responsibility as well, brothers and sisters. That we must do to share the word. To uh, to preach the gospel to every man because we serve as the watchmen brothers and sisters <coughs> we're going to go to colossians 
at the three. And we're going to read from verse one to three. If ye then risen with Christ, seek those things which are about above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth, for ye are dead, and your life is life is hid with Christ in God. So, brothers and sisters, since we are buried you know, through baptism, we are buried, buried, and our old old selves are already buried down, and we have new life within us. We are risen with Christ. So, you know, although things in this world easily attract us easily tempt us we must always always never forget that we must seek those things which are above a lot of the, a lot of the time a lot of the times you know our previous brothers and sisters that uh, were members of the fellowship but stopped coming to the fellowship it's often because you know, uh, uh, they have they have been called by these temptations and they lost at a temptation but brothers and sisters you know we must not be conformed to this world we must always seek things that are above and we must set our affections on things above not things on earth because brothers and sisters you know, the earth is only temporary while we and the promises that are given unto us True God is uh, life eternal. And we're going to go to James chapter 4. From verse 1 to 10. From whence come wars and fightings among you? Come, they not hence. Even of your lust that war in your members, ye lust and have not, ye kill. And desire to have and cannot obtain. Ye fight and war, yet ye have not because ye ask not. Ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your lusts. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Do ye think? That the scripture set in vain, the spirit that dwelt in us lusted to envy. But he give it more grace. Wherefore he said, God resisted the proud, but give it grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep, let your laughter return to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. Like it was said in the previous scriptures, brothers and sisters, that we must uh, not think of ourselves higher than anyone, any one person or higher than, the, than we think, than what we are. We must always humble ourselves in the sight of the Lord so that He would lift us up. And brothers and sisters, you know, this is the grace that the Lord has given unto us to have, to be born again, to be with the Spirit, to be with the Spirit, to be given with the Spirit. And brothers and sisters, you know, we must always remember to never stray from the path that the Lord has set upon us. Because the, because the other branches of that path, which leads to the wider roads, are the path to the world that always, you know, always tries to make us take that turn. But the Lord's word is clear. It, there is no confusion in the Lord's word. But we must take the straight and narrow path that we, you know, must. But we must seek not the friendship. We mustn't. We must not seek the friendship of the world, because it is the enmity with God. Because brothers and sisters, we are already separated from the world, though we are. We have a flesh body. 
uh, you know, uh, and all things that is flesh will, will return to the earth. Uh, we also have the spirit, which would, which would meet up with the, with the Lord when the time comes. So, brothers and sisters, we are separated from the world. We must not be conformed by the world. Because, you know, the friend of the world is the enemy of God. And the spirit that was given unto us, unto us you know, does not lust to envy. The spirit that were given unto us to give us uh, a chance, to give us wisdom, to give us the guidance to be in the straight and narrow path. And all these things, brothers and sisters, we say, Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, brothers and sisters.